Okay, so next we're going to look at multiplying and dividing fractions. So, multiplying fractions. So for example, here we've got two thirds times four fifths. Multiplying fractions can actually be surprisingly easy because all we've got to do is multiply the tops and then multiply the bottoms. So in this case, it's going to be 2 times 4, which will be 8, and 3 times 5, which will be 15. So the numerator is 8, the denominator is 15, the answer is 80, 8 fifteenths. 2 thirds times 4 fifths is 8 fifteenths. However, you've always got to remember to simplify afterwards. If you've forgotten how to simplify or didn't watch the last video, make sure you do. So in this case, we've got 6 sevenths times 2 thirds. Same as before, we multiply the tops to give us 12, and we multiply the bottoms to give us 21. 12 over 21, 12 21 But we always have to remember to check to see if we can simplify. And to do that, we look to see if there's a highest common factor. And yes, there is. 3 will go into both 12 and 21. We divide them both by 3, 12 divided by 3 is 4, and 21 divided by 3 is 7. The answer is 4 sevenths, 4 over 7. When multiplying by whole numbers, um, we simply multiply the top by the whole number. In a sense, we're doing exactly the same thing, because actually there's a hidden 1 underneath the whole number. 5 over 1 is actually 5. We don't normally write or we don't write that one in. But in a sense then we're doing the same thing, multiplying the tops and multiplying the bottoms because we're essentially just doing 5 times 2 on the top and 1 times 15 on the bottom. In this case that will give us 10 over 15. Like I said, Every time we should see if we can simplify and if there's a highest common factor to both the numbers. And in this case, yes, there is. The highest common factor is 5. So when we divide both those numbers by 5, we get 2 over 3. 10 divided by 5 is 2 and 15 divided by 5 is 3. 2 thirds. So dividing fractions if you've got the hang of multiplying fractions, happy to say that dividing fractions is very easy. All we've got to remember to do is to change the dividing sign into a multiplying sign and swap, flip the second number. So in this case, two thirds divided by four fifths has now become two thirds times five fourths. Now, 5 fourths is what we call a top-heavy fraction, and in one of the uh, further videos we'll look at that a little bit more, but for the, ma for the moment it doesn't matter. So now we can go back to simply multiplying as before, where we multiply the tops, 2 times 5, and multiply the bottoms, 3 times 4. 2 times 5 is 10, 3 times 4 is 12, and just as before, every time we work with fractions, we look to see if we can simplify. We look to see if there's a common factor to both 10 and 12. Yes, the common factor is 2. 10 divided by 2 is 5, and 12 divided by 2 is 6.